Hello, Alpha. One sec. All right, I'm good now. Fuck death. I'm checking on all my volume levels. Should be good. This feels a bit close to chat. Hold up, let me move the window. There we go. That should that looks good. Really kind compared to the other t uh, classic titles. Same with Super Castlevania 4 and Rondo of Blood. Yeah, Super Castlevania 4 is probably my favorite overall experience playing Castlevania. Just because, like, the end game is kind of bullshit. I like how the original controls the most. The original, like, it feels really tight and precise, and I like that a lot. It feels like I can be extremely precise with my movement. And moving around just feels good in the original. Like, usually, usually it's the case where the original of any series is the clunkiest, but not for Castlevania. But 4 is sick. I want to play that again now that you mention it. So, for options, let's see. Oh, that's right. Sega Genesis is, like, weird with what buttons you press or stuff. Easy. Uh... This is such a weird... Like, it should be named Lives, right? You're not having five players, unless the game, like... Unless Castlevania Bloodlines intends for you to huddle up with four other people on the same console and pass the controller around whenever someone dies. I don't know. Maybe I'm a fake Castlevania Bloodlines fan. Maybe I don't get it. The game seems a little quiet so far. Hopefully it gets louder. I always play it as the card. Because, like, let me try Morris for a sec. Oh, it's just the whip. Yeah. So, if you like the classic Castlevania whip and you don't want to try anything new whatsoever, then John Morris is your guy. Otherwise, the card has a pretty unique weapon. I remember the spear being super clutch. I beat the game with both characters growing up, but I preferred the card because that spear is kind of crazy. I don't know which one's considered better, though. I imagine the card. The card seems kind of like an easy mode character. Music seems like it... I'm not sure. It feels a little quiet so far. It's a little on the quiet end. I'll turn it up just a tad. You could like poke straight up from the ground or diagonally, which I thought was sick. That was like one of the draws of playing this character. And you could also like do this pretty quickly too for movement. This has magic, right? I think I have to pick up a spell or a sub weapon. Oh, there's two of me now. Okay, so A is the axe and it uses one, I see. So I want to pick up as many of these as possible. And I think this is like the first boss, right? No. It's just a tougher enemy. Must be thinking of later. There we go. Now my spear is on fire. I remember this being, I thought this was like the sickest thing. The flame on the lance, I thought that was so cool. Like that green blue flame. Yeah. Is 
there another game? I know that, oh, what is it? The Spiritual Successor series. Forgot what it was called. I'm trying desperately to remember the game. Oh, you can do, like, the quick stabs, right? As long as you hit something. If you're crouching, you stab really fast. Portrait of Rune. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, the first name, though. I can't remember what that Kickstarter series was called, but I think they have a Lance user, too. Yeah, like, using- I think the whip is sick. I think fighting enemies with a big-ass chain like that is sick. Or a big-ass whip, but, like... The Lance just feels really good in actual gameplay. So easy to use, and it reaches so far. Yeah, Bloodstain is what I'm thinking of. Thank you. Yeah. And that was the first boss. Oh, they're not active until they start standing up, I see. I need to crouch and stab against bosses and stuff. Like that. They can't handle it. It's like, it's so good. It's so cool that that's like, it's just a little thing that's so cool. Alright, holy water. That's pretty good. Okay, this is just part of the background. I was worried it would hurt me. Oh my god, the spear is so sick. They're inconsistent with the name. First it was called Player, now it's called Rest. I see a cracked wall in Castlevania when I'm low health, and I just know that might bail my ass out. Oh, this song, I remember this. hiding meat in walls. I don't know if I like how that sounds. But yes, thank you, Dracula. Dracula. I mean, it's smart. If he's, like, craving for a midnight snack, he doesn't have to go all the way down to the fridge. I remember this boss giving me a ton of trouble when I first played this. Thank you. 
just got the stomp. Oh my god. This game is kind of cool. Okay, it's like... I'm not a bored teenager with a stack of retro games I've never played. Like, it'll never hit the same as that in finding this hidden gem, but it's pretty decent. I'm still having fun. It just, it feels nice playing something as bullshit as... I think it was Rondo of Blood when I got to death. I was like, fuck this, I don't want to do this anymore. And then, like, finally having something this strong. What a nice looking level. They are trying to cheese me. It's such a, like, weirdly good game. Like, I go into, ex it, I go into it expecting nothing, and then I play, like, something pretty good. Sort of like how Aladdin feels, but I heard that the Super Nintendo version of that in Lion King is better. But I mean, I enjoyed the Genesis version just fine. Like, I had no issue with it. I replayed through it multiple times, and I thought it was really fun. Oh, that only delays them. Okay. I gotta be careful here. What a nice looking game. But never the SNES, yeah. I'm like, I'm sure there may be better, but I enjoyed uh, Aladdin fine enough to not really feel the need to play another version of it. Okay, I tank the hit just fine. So it's a limited time thing, so I do want to use the screen nuke at some point if there's enemies nearby and I get the power up. That was a boss. Oh god, I'm scared of this one way more, because it covers the close range. Oh, you push them back. GG. I guess that's a cool little thing to land on for people who know about the high jump or are messing around with it. Oh, this is a little... This, this scared me a little. Okay. 
everything that's trying to kill you here, and it's still tamed for Castlevania. Because this series is just fucked up. Everything's trying to knock you in the water. One of my least favorite enemies in this game. Oh yeah, if they're one like the worst, then I imagine the enemies are pretty tame overall. Because like I could beat this game before I could beat way before I could beat any other Castlevania game. So I remember be it being like fairly chill. Sort of like Ninja Gaiden in that sense, where like none of it's really bullshit. It's still a hard game by merit of what it is, but like compared to other games in this series, it's a lot less fucked up and a lot more forgivable. And the sub weapons are crazy strong too. So they do a lot of the heavy lifting. Flamen? Oh, right. The ones that run at you and jump. I thought they were like dogs at first or something. I don't remember. I thought there was something they weren't. That's what I remember. Oh my god, I thought I wouldn't make that jump. Like, the edge? Look, I don't know. It was deceptive. This move, can we talk about how goofy this move looks? This right here. And that's cool too, like, even if it's basic, like, even if it's not really impressive, I still find it cool. Hitting the environment and then knocking it down and walking across it is like... It's just cool. Not much to it. Oh, shit! Oh. Yeah, same. It makes a lot of the hellish stuff worth it. Once I'm at one life left, that's when I really spam my sub weapon. Otherwise, I've just kind of been saving up. Oh, I hit the body. I see. cool boss fights too. I mean Castlevania as a whole does but that was a neat little gimmick that I liked. I forgot how many stages there were. Because that was stage two, right? I don't remember at all how long this game was. 
That one at the beginning gave me trust issues. Like, I'm waiting to see if they'll come back or not. That actually named Milky Star Rip, I don't know. Hello, Lucy. Have you ever played this? It's like the least fucked up Castlevania game. People are like, this game sucks because it's the easiest Castlevania. And I'm like, this game rules because it doesn't, like, say fuck you every five seconds. It says it every few minutes instead. I do until three hours into my playthrough. Yeah! I was, um... I was wondering, like, you said you would add me when you hopped on, and then I saw you on... on Discord, and I was like, oh... Yeah, you must be at the beginning. That's what I thought what was uh, up. When you were like on before adding me. This is just on uh, Sega Genesis Online. Oh, I can't angle my swings upstairs. How much magic does that use? Only eight? Yeah, if you want a fun Halloween game, that's a little less fucked up than other Castlevania games. I think Super Castlevania 4 is still my personal favorite. That game is awesome. I played Rondo of Blood, but I got stuck on death and got really upset and never beat it. Is there multiplayer, or is it just, like... Is it like the early Mario games where there's not really multiplayer? You just take turns with the other person. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to try to jump that. Yeah, it's not that there's, like, no multi- Multiplayer Castlevania. Like, if they hear me out, this might be a weird idea. Like, a big open 3D Castlevania game with multiplayer. Not necessarily open world, just, like, more space to move around than screen to screen. I almost couldn't move. Thankfully, they add a little width to the platforms, because, like, I didn't think I was going to make it, but I remember this now. Yeah, it, parts like this are fucked up, because they try to knock you off the edges. It's like Smash Bros. It really is faithful to cat. Whoa, I'm rewinding that one. I don't want to do all that again. It really is like Smash Bros, where, like, your biggest fear in Castlevania is don't get hit off the ledge. Let me read chat for a bit. Streets of, Ra Streets of Rage 2, I played an insane amount on, uh, Genesis. Mega Man Wily Wars and Sonic 2. Oh, the app tells you what your most played is? I guess, like, it doesn't tell you the exact time, but there's a way to sort them in that order. I went crazy on Streets of Rage 2. I wasn't good at it, but I liked the I liked all the characters, and I beat it with all them. But I didn't care if the online features still work. Oh, must be an old game then. Thank you, Link, for the raid. Are you? I saw you messing with the three U charm table. I was watching uh, after Unite. Good luck with that, by the way. I fucked up my charm table. So if I ever want, like, a file with a good charm table, I will have to start over. But I'm fine with my main files, expert plus 10 charm. Gunstar Heroes, I think I added that to my backlog. Welcome, Raiders. Yeah, it's dumb that, like, the charm tables are bugged. And it fucks over players unless you, like, manipulate. 
You can do everything without a good charm, but... I don't know, I just like having the option to have a good charm. Holy shit, that jump is, like, sketchy. Oh! We're redoing that. Also, my time. I don't think it's that. I don't know. I think it's, like, it's RNG minute, so it's always gonna be a little finicky. Or you might have you might have done it wrong because you said to yourself that you think you went a second too early. I'm down. I'm down to try some Gunstar Heroes uh, co-op. I was really surprised when I tried all the Genesis games on here that it was as good as it was, like out right off the bat. Okay, I can do that. Good to know. I remember this, like, just vaguely. It's a chupacabra. Run. Oh god, another chupacabra. Genesis and Sonic 2 is the first game I ever played. I, um, I do because my stepdad, he has two sisters and all three of them, like, they split the Genesis and the NES, like, for five years one of them will get it, five years another one will get it. I think my stepdad, like, has it permanently now. But yeah, I was just like, he had it and he wasn't using it. He got it back from his sister, so he, like, basically handed it to me and let me hold on to both of them in my room with like all the games so I got to play so many cool games as a result of that this game was connected to portrait of rune good castlevania game I'm trying to remember which one was that GBA or is that another one yeah I've just played like a surprising amount of just random retro games yeah, I'm not- I'm no Castlevania expert. My knowledge of Castlevania is very simple. I played one, I played four, I played this, I played Rondo of Blood. And I think overall, like, four was the most fun to me, but one controls really well. Which I said it earlier, but not everyone was here. Just really surprising when the first game in a franchise isn't the clunkiest one. Oh god. It's the big chupacabra. <laughs> the balls, I can't like really avoid them. Beat the Chupacabra. Let's go. Castlevania 3 gave me nightmares after playing it. I'm surprised I haven't tried this. This game rules. Oh, you're playing it now? Or does it, like, look awesome? It's really good for its time. Metroid Dread was on my Halloween list, which maybe I should play it. Because I feel like Metroid is perfect for Halloween. Some Zelda games are pretty decent. Like, Ocarina and Majora are, like, Halloween games, in my opinion. Because Ocarina is full of scary shit. And, like, zombies and stuff. Takes place... Oh, this has a... Okay, so I didn't know this plot continued with it. I remember this level now. Kind of gives off an educated feel. Gaiden. Ow. And 
It has parrying, apparently, so I would like it. Jonathan Morris. Yeah, this song is good. I remember this music. I want my sphere thing back. I want my glowing hot sphere back. Thank you. Oh, wait. I'm pressing B, because I'm just using that to confirm. Fuck you. Bastard ass skeleton. Do you get to play as a spear in that game? Because if not, bad sequel. They probably realized it was too powerful. If not, and that's fair, and that's valid. But. That's what's cool about this game. You have a big ass fucking spear. What are they gonna do about it? Oh, Jonathan stepped the fuck up. Let's go, Jonathan Redemption. Whoa! The head respawning again is scary. trying too hard to be cool. Yeah, I recognize the Morris part of the last name. For the, yeah, the other guy. I read that as brain strokers. I was like, what the fuck is a brain stroker? Bram strokers, Dracula novel. I see. That's cool. I've never, like, read it. Or really seen it. I kind of want to at some point. To get my first game over? Yeah. I'm lucky I learned this game as a teenager. And spent tons of time on it. Because, like, I remember all the little fundamentals. I want to check out some of the classics. Because old literature's got its own charm. Maybe if I use my high jump, I don't know. There we go, puzzle solving. Pulse man? Game Freak game on the NSO app and it hasn't sent a wild battle theme in it. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I've seen it played. I've seen like a playthrough of it. World's slowest enemy right here.
Maybe if I move this, it'll open the gate. Whoa. I forgot about that. I actually... That's such a simple thing, but it's so randomly cool. Wait, that's where the final smash and quick attack come from, too? Dang. Yeah, because, like, Smash Bros. was, like, mid-late 90s. So that checks out. I heard about it. I've never watched the original. What the fuck do I do here? There's got to be like a little puzzle thing to turn it around, right? Or maybe... Ow. Mixed reviews on the new Pikachu game. Either people say it's okay or really shit. Some people, they play the best game ever and they don't even realize it. It's kind of crazy. Okay, like, what do I... That uses one magic, but that's something I did not know you could do. sucks, but, uh... Yeah. I don't even know if this is the intended solution. You can do it super safe. Maybe that's why I forgot about it. why I don't remember that, because I feel like I'd be molding at that. It was talked about a lot for a reason. Everyone I know who's seen it seems to really like it. Yeah, it very much takes creative liberties, but it's very cool from what I've heard. Also, it's a lot of original story. Yeah, people are kind of weird when it comes to changes sometimes. Like, sometimes bad changes do genu genuinely ruin things, but... I think people are generally, like, if there's something... If there's, like, an old IP that they have a lot of attachment to, they can be very... I'm trying to think of, like, the right words to use here. Very resilient to the idea of change. I think that's what I wanted to say. What the fuck is this creature? Ow. I got hit. It does. 
It looks like if a toilet had arms and legs. I'm not taking that hit. I want out of the corner. Bring me back. I got myself in points predicament there. Oh, they home in on you. Interesting. Ow. It swims at you. so few iframes in this game when you get hit. Pretty simple boss once you figure out the pattern. Some of the attacks are like weird to avoid though. What the fuck? I've ever fought. Why do I not remember this? strange game. Okay, so it's the rose causing it. Boxer change. Slightly different expressions. Oh yeah, 
yeah, this part is spooky. The skeletons keep getting back up and they're covered in blood. Oh my god, so scary. I I don't think paying attention to Twitter video game discourse is worth my time. That shit will only make you feel like either miserable or that your time's been wasted. So I try not to give any attention to it anymore. Brain energy. Don't just tell people they're losing energy, tell them they're losing brain energy. It'll it'll feel like ten times more I'm trying to think of the word. Ten times scarier. I got a blue sky invite, but I like I use it sometimes, but there's like nobody on there right now. So basically like the common approach is just set up your account until it gets public, or that's what a lot of people are doing. Yeah, still in beta, it still needs a few major features, but like it still feels so much better than Twitter right now. It feels kinda like using old Twitter. Like 2017 Twitter. So I at least like that. But there's just not really anyone to follow for me right now. And my friends don't post very often. It's like, I'm kind of bored on there, but at least I'm not losing brain cells and brain energy like Twitter does. Uh, this enemy is fucked up. Like, what do I do? Even crouching, I get fucked up. Alright, I'm gonna pinpoint where I lost all that health. Because I gotta stop losing so much. I'll use it more if I, like, find people to follow. More people follow me. Otherwise, there's just nothing to do. They don't make these jump height, they make them just like this tall. The funny looking move was actually useful. Fuck these enemies. Actually demented. I need to like go back and I think sever the rope. You bait them and then you like sever the rope, right? What the fuck? That's fucked up. They throw a bomb and everything. Your lack of iframes in this game, oh my god. I don't recognize these names. Oh god, that one's extra fucked up. Jujutsu Kaisen? Oh, right, right, right. I've only watched 15 episodes and I haven't, like, watched in a while. He's the blonde guy, right? With the sunglasses? He's cool. If he's, if he's the one I'm thinking of, yeah. I might be thinking of someone else then. Oh, that kills them. So the environment interacts with enemies. It might be the one I'm thinking of then. 
Yeah, he is one of my favorite characters. Maybe that's weird. Ow. the spear is great. Oh, that's extra fucked up. Spam. Get the fuck out. Okay, this is starting to feel like standard Castlevania bullshit. If not worse. Oh, the fleas? I hated this part in the original. Kind of, until I figured it out. I was so vehement about not using save states or rewinds, now I just don't give a fuck. Like, they're here for a reason. These games are unfair as fuck. There is nothing fun about this. Get me the fuck out of here. Am I supposed to go up? See what happens. I can't escape. Oh. 
how long does this go? Is this looping? No. They really made all of this. Time to climb back up really fast. Alright, I'm back. Ow. Ow. Holy shit, this game is relentless. Oh! Gate. Uh, yeah, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. <laughs> yeah, it does. Seems like a very good game. It's the type of game I would like if I had, if I didn't need, if I like needed stuff to play. I don't need anything new to play. I really don't. Paul Blart over here fucking me up. Oh, this is the secret, I see. Why does it look like they're jerking off? Okay, look at this. Look at their hand. Now I need to beat them again. But my turn-based RPGs are my jam. I like D&D, but like, I've never played it with a great group. My first D&D group, uh, we went over to one of their houses and uh, another one of them kind of stole a big collection of Xbox 360 games hoping he wouldn't notice and got caught. So that group kind of got disbanded right after that. Uh, and that group also had someone that was like, someone else that was really ruining the vibe. And the other time I tried to have a D&D group, like, I was expected to sit down for like three or four hours at a time with no breaks or else I'd be holding up the group. And uh, the people there were kind of just there because they were bored and didn't have much to do. So they didn't really like take D&D seriously or have any passion for it. So it was like kind of boring. Like that group is kind of boring to play with. And I just didn't like that I felt pressured to not take breaks. I've never had a good D&D group, but the game seems really fun with a good group. I'll take the death, but I'm like, low on lives. I have no damage. Hold the fuck up. These archers suck. Uh, holy fuck, just non-stop spam. I want to take no damage before the boss, so I have like that whole health bar. But oh my god, they just shred me. You mean Elite Smash? Oh wait. Or Glory was cool, cause like, you didn't get wax stages. The matchmaking was quick. Arena's kinda filled that purpose, but like... 
I don't like FD, but I like not getting wax stages or having to like play by arena rules. Did I not see this enemy before? Did I just beat them that quick? special attack that uses four. I forgot you have like special attacks with the spells in this. And that boss was like not really fun or interesting. Like there was a unique little gimmick there but I didn't care for it. Just like stand in the center and like stab the pillar without getting hit by the projectiles is like kind of boring. Holy shit, that's cool. You are not ready for these. It's a ghost. Fucking ghost. This ghost is fucked up. It's a fucking moth! so much health from just that. are like scary or the butterflies whatever those were I don't know what that creature was oh I remember this final stage yeah I think this game has infinite continues right because I can't see myself beating it without that on hardware and I've beaten it at least twice. Oh my god. The Medusa heads are kinda crazy in this. Oh my god, the perspective. I think this is intentional. Because I remember this on hardware. It's meant to trip you out and make you think. This is kind of fucked up. It's cool, but like, oh god. 
I feel very anxious right now. It hurts my eyes too. I would like to get through this faster, but the Medusa heads are assholes. so much. It's like, I want to get through. The section's a cool novelty, but let me get through it. I want my eyes to work. Have... Why? This is fucked up. I feel like I remember that name from somewhere. I'm just glad that my eyes get a break from whatever. I I I knew something was going on. I got scared. What the fuck? spawned on top of me, that'd be fucked up. This must be the final boss, right? No! No! No, not you here too! I didn't know that could happen. Oh, this character again.
That move always gets me. Oh, it still got. I consider that got getting me. What the? That move is fucked up. It goes back to the. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. It chases you. I'm scared of Oompa Loompas more than I'm scared of anything in Castlevania. I didn't mean to use that, but hey, we take it. I'm just attacking whatever card I get. It's the Chupacabra. I didn't even have to deal with the ball attack. Get lost. I hate you. I hate death. Start all that over. I always get psyched out by that. I just want this to be over. Stop throwing shit at me. Fuck it, I'll go back and see. It's just death. I can beat death. At oh, never mind.
If that worked for the entire fight, I don't know how I would react. We got some info on the boss and how they work. So I can dodge the first two attacks by doing this. Kinda. My spacing, I guess, was different that time. scream There's gotta be two phases, right? He's got the werewolf phase, right? Or whatever he turns into. What the fuck? Thank you. 
Oh, I have to dub that one. What is this game? What the fuck? That looks way different from what I remember. And it's got the toenail attack. Oh god, I hate this move. How the fuck did I beat this? And you have limited continues for this? Oh no. I had to have looked up guides, right? I think I should have kept the axe, actually. Because, like, that second phase, fuck that. That third phase, fuck that. This game is goofy for Castlevania standards. I'm still not convinced it's a real game. Okay, that was way easier with the axe. I only have one magic though. I fucking hate this thing. without save states, without going mad. And it shoots fire too. distorted the more you hit it. Why do you still have so much health? Who thought these bosses were okay? Castlevania games would be so much better if they toned back on the bullshit. Stealing their bones. That boss actually wasn't that bad. It's just like. If you're not a god gamer and grinding out the same section for hours as a board kid, then it sucks. But they really were. 
I really, like, I forget how hard games used to be sometimes. I beat it. Took save states, but I beat it. I could beat it without save states. I'm just not going to make anyone sit through all that. It gives you a dude with an absurdly strong spear, but at the same time, like, it does not cancel out the bullshit. It's a cute little game for what it is. I actually still really like this game. It's just like, it doesn't hit the heights of Castlevania 4 for me. Or even like the parts of Rondo of Blood I was having fun on until I got to that one part, until I got to my breaking point with death. Yeah, Super Castlevania 4, I'd say like all of them have really unfair end of game bosses, but that's the point. But they don't want you to just beat the game as fast as possible. Because back then there were way fewer games, so like, it was excusable to have really hard end sections to give players more to do. And this game has a password system too, so if you run out of, uh, run out of continues, you can like... I had a notebook for NES and Genesis games with passcodes, and I would write down my codes whenever I got a game over, and like document them there. And for Castlevania, I could have written out the symbol. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I like drew them out instead of write them out. Because there's like axes and other stuff and not a typical... Oh, uh, what is it? Password system with like letters and numbers. It's just like axe, holy water, nothing, gargoyle, or whatever. I like the green-haired vampire design. I think that's cool. The green and the pink. This game has cool bosses, but holy fuck, I have gotten rusty on them. Extremely rusty at the series now. Yeah. Thanks for playing Try Normal Mode. Just shut your mouth, Castlevania Bloodlines. You're a cool game, but you don't talk to me like that. That was not easy mode. That was easy mode is hard mode. Normal mode is fucking masochist mode. I had five players and I was still struggling. I'm pressing everything on quick demo display. So random that Simon's theme is in this game when Simon's not even here, but I think that's the case in other games too. Neat little game I wanted to play for Halloween. Use save states so that it would be one stream and not me, like, stuck for two hours on the same boss. They got some neat games in here. The Genesis is just, like, a really weird console overall. Like, I, I've never tried Virtua Fighter 2. Wait, I might have played it for a bit when I was trying out all the games. Because I tried every almost everything in here. Oh yeah, I've tried this. 
I thought it was kind of cool. I really like the perspective. I think it looks cool. Yeah, Virtual Fighter 2, apparently. Today I learned. Oh, I was just pressing buttons to see what they did. <laughs> My frame data though. My frame data goes crazy. Hold up. This character is kind of crazy. You got the range on the kick and you got the fast frame data on the punches. I can just start, I can ground start by doing that. Why is block rate? Dang. I gotta try Sarah. She seems very powerful. Oh, Sarah cannot find the solution to this move. This game is awesome. I could win with one move. Oh my god, she's got the combos. Wait. And she's got a ponytail too. I gotta play as her. I gotta draw. What are the odds? Ban strats in Virtual Fighter 2 Sega Genesis Edition. Okay, Akira. I'm gonna be honest. You're not all that. I need to play as Sarah. Oh my god, Sarah's cracked. Look at that move. And she's got a knee too, oh my god. Her jab combo goes crazy too. Sarah's crazy. She's my favorite now. I didn't have a favorite before. I just picked the main character because, like, I don't know who any of these people are. Better run home to mama now. Try next stage. Oh my god. The only reason I'm having trouble is because I'm fighting Sarah. That's how good she is. The crunchiest, crustiest auto audio possible on the voice clips. I'm trying to do my little throw. It's like you dash forward and you punch. Hold uh, I think you dash forward, hold forward, and then use the punch button. Yo, 
Now who? I can't even tell what she's saying. It's like put through ten different compressors. Compress ten times. Five, one, Just to fit on the Genesis. Wait. Are those cat ears? Oh, Pi's kind of crazy. Hold up. Pi might be the strongest character. Everyone, everyone that beats me is the strongest character. She got me. She's a very powerful warrior. I need to guard more. Like, if I just do this, then what are they gonna do? I'm actually invincible. Because they don't grab. So, like, look at this. Oh, they do grab. Holy shit, Pi. Pi got the... So much damage on the, just the run back. Don't quit your day job. What a very strange game. for Pi. Pi can have that win. I have a Castlevania collection on here, right? Yeah. I just want to see what's in this collection. A lot. I could have played Bloodlines this whole time. Before the uh, Genesis version. Watch Replay. look at this for a bit, but I'm not sure yet what I want to do for the next two hours. I didn't know when I would beat Bloodlines. Oh, woo. <laughs> oh, it's asking for a password. I see. I can, like, turn my character around in the air? Oh my god. No way. This game is so advanced. The whip feels so good in this game. Starts with Simon's theme, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I can see why this one was my favorite again. Oh! I pressed up, but I didn't hold up. I think that's what happened. Yeah, you gotta hold that shit. one level of this and then I'll think about what I want to start next. Okay, I take back all the shit I talked when I was like piping up the spear. This feels a lot better. The control on this whip feels way better than the spear automatically. But in this game, not in that game. For sure not in that game. I did not expect them to approach me like that. Alright, and this has a time limit too, just like the original I think. I thought that was invincibility, the way I was flashing. Simon. This is stretched out like crazy. What the fuck? Why is it like ultra widescreen on my end? What happened? Oh, that happened. There's a 4x3 scan lines, but not a 4x3 regular. 
so weird. These are like the weirdest visual filters I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I think I like how moving around felt, but it's still got that rigid, you can't move in the air after you jump sort of feeling. I'm thinking- I'm wondering how I played it on that without any issues. Cause that looked strange, but I think it's cause I just got- Oh yeah, I like that you hold up to use your powers too. Stuff's on one button. And you gotta start walking on stairs, you can't, like, be in the air. And get on them. Yeah. I think I know what the people want. <laughs> 